Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use configland.exe. First you'll need a server for this. You'll need a server for this. So go to shop. Open browser, go type in shop, then go down to a shop. Any shop. Of any one. And just wait for the web page to load. And rent a server from there and then to add the server to your configland.exe press this button save computer to map after you do that go into your config land go into your config type in configland.exe in your terminal or just press this button right here and go go to, down to programs and click config LAN and we'll want to connect to the IP that we um, got now you'll be prompted with this let me explain what these are right here like these in this this right here shows your bank balance how much money you have this shows your monthly invoice which is not on right now this will show how much your ser how much your monthly invoice will be for all the servers switches hubs and uh, routers that you added to network this is your shopping cart where it will be priced on how m how much it will add to this monthly invoice. So now that I explained that, this right here will basically wipe everything on the land. Basically everything. This, when you're done like configuring your whole land, this press this to apply the changes. This you can turn. This will if you press this. This will basically take you out of like build mode. So you can basically ping the devices, do stuff like that. And we want that on right now. This will show the subnet, what subnet the computer's on. Now on to the stuff. Like the stuff. This will um basically delete the computer as you've seen we can add a computer but you'll need to configure this the top it has to be 192 not 172 not 168 at the front it has to be 192 at the front so let's enter that and we press apply that will apply the changes and we press apply and that will apply changes now if we add a router it's different press this button to configure it and we can configure our LAN IP one last note it can it only has it can only be 192 not 172 uh, 168 192 in the front only so I can add one book 1.1 or I can add 1.5.1 and we can add a hub a hub is different as you can connect a computer onto a different network so you'll be prompted with this if you add a computer to a hub you'll be prompted with gateway and you'll be prompted with local address now local address will bind to the gateway that you choose. Say we choose this gateway right here, this gateway IP. And we want to name it, and we want it the LAN IP to be 5.10. We can do that. Now that's separated. Now with a switch, it's the same thing with a router you can configure local address 
say we want to segregate our network to 69.1, like have a different IP, and then add a hub, which then connects onto this IP. And we want to have it connect there. That's fine. Now if we go out of the pain mode, as you can see, if someone tries to paint this, charges on unreachable. Because you have the IP, the same LAN IP for the hub, for like the switch. Hubs don't have their own IP address, stuff like that. Now say we messed up everything, and we messed up like basically everything. We can press this button, but first let's, let's um, press apply changes. And if we look, you'll notice our invoice, our total of invoice, our money, increased with the server because we added switches and hubs, stuff like that. And our shopping cart is not there. So say we messed up. Say we, we like, messed up and we added, say, we meant to add this to the, um, to the um, uh, hub, like the switch, but we accidentally add it to this router. So we accidentally do that. Yeah, messed up. And we press apply and say, oh, we messed up. We can press this button right here. This will take away the changes. But say we want to wipe the entire network. Say we messed up on everything. We could just press that. And if you have everything like set. And you don't like everything that's set. You can just press this button. And that will wipe everything. Let me show you. Say we added a router, a few computers, and we messed up, say on all of it. Well, essentially, this is like a wipe, like a hard wipe, and this is essentially like a soft wipe. We depress these buttons to remove whatever we did wrong. It will remove anything we did wrong. like anything and we could just revert back to what we have default on there and this will show the like the uh, default password if you forget it and this will essentially let's say this will essentially like wipe the network and if we press yes, that will essentially wipe it. That's basically like a hard wipe. Uh, I think I'm going to leave you here to build your own networks. Be creative out there and uh, be creative with your networks. That's all I can say. Anyway, guys, this is me. Stay safe out there and uh, peace. This is me. Uh, this is me out. See ya.